Hi, um, I'm Emily and I'm schizophrenic. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> I've already made a video before, but this is just about um, about the voices in specific detail about what I hear and how it affects me. Um, See, so yeah, let me just get my notes up because I made. I can't really remember. I lose my track of thought, my train of thought, really fast. So, in my last video, I talked about um, me in almost a loop, doing things and then not actually having them done. Um, and this lady that comes around, she's going to come around today actually. She talked to my doctor, and who's um, in the peers team. And he said it was basically just confusion. Don't know what that means, but you know, confusion. Um, and also, I'm not having any more dreams about dying or death or dying in gruesome ways, which is um, really good. I think that's because they get my dosage of um, aripiprazole from 15 milligrams to 30 milligrams. So, I'm really pleased about that. Um, so, basically, this all started when I was about 13, but but I heard no voices then. It was more just visual, visual hallucinations. So I would see animals, I would see um, Cosmo the cat, Mitch the raccoon, um, a dog, I can't remember the name of the dog, um, just animals, um, I started hearing voices when I was about 15, or midway through 14, um, so that's been two years almost, which I've been hearing voices, but three, three years. No, actually, it's my birthday on August 16th, so it's almost been four years since this all started. Yeah, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, yeah. Because I'll be 17 on August 16th, so... Can't wait. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to go to Ikea on my birthday. I don't know why, I just really love Ikea so much. <laughs> I'm a bit of an Ikea freak. I don't think I'm going to buy anything. I'm just going to go there. Look around. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, anyway, back to my story. The voices. I um, At the start, they sounded like my neighbours were just talking really loud. And I could hear them through the walls. But I realised something was wrong. When um, I was at school... And there was a wall behind me, and I could hear like voices coming from the wall. I mean, it wasn't my classmates like from the other room because these walls were quite really thick walls, so I couldn't be able to hear what they're saying. And I just hear them all the time coming from the walls. Thought it was my neighbours, but obviously not. Um, what else? Um, and then it just gradually got more louder and louder and started surrounding me. I used to think um, I'd walk past people and they'd say horrible stuff to me. I don't know if they actually said it or not. But I think it was um, it was just the voices. Um, I could be in a silent room, but my silence would never be your silence. My silence would never be empty. When I'm alone, I'm never really alone. There's always something there. Even if, 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 I, even if I was in a blank room full of no one, no people, no pictures, no colours. There. Yeah. Um, I suppose that's what it's like for every schizophrenic, possibly. I'm not sure because I don't know every other schizophrenic. So I don't really know, I only know myself. 
I'm the only one that I know right now that has schizophrenia in my area. I don't really know anybody else that has schizophrenia. I'd like to know. I'd like to meet other people that have schizophrenia and talk about it. So I understand more. But you know, it's just a bit difficult. Um, so the voices, um, they weren't that loud until I was about four, 14, halfway through 14, then they were loud and then by 15 they sent like a cafe for the people it just got more and more and more dense, more and more people talking all at once. So it's about it's about a cafe full of people right now. So I'd say about twenty voices just talking over each other. Um I don't really have a lot of notes for this video because I don't really know what to talk about. I was gonna make a whole video but I'm not really sure what to talk about it. Um so it might not be a long video but I'll try my best. Um Um, hmm. I can't cut this out because I don't know how to edit and um, well the edit thing that I have got doesn't work properly it always crashes so um, <clears throat> so I can't use that but oh well I guess the these pauses won't be that long um, cafe for the people mm. the things that they were telling me to do would be to um, be that I'm stupid, that I'm worthless, that I'm a bitch sometimes, that I should just fuck off. <laughs> uh, um, it didn't really make sense. Like, why were they saying these things? I hadn't really done anything wrong. Um, but, oh, my wrist just cracked. Uh, um, Lost my train of thought again. Um, oh yeah, things they were telling me to do. They would tell me to hit people, to throw things at people, but I wouldn't do it. It only got really dangerous when I got um admitted to my first hospital visit because I was dangerous to the people but <coughs> <coughs> sorry I was more of a danger to myself than other people because I would I would do anything to I would believe what they say I'd feel like they would take control of me and I'd feel like I had to do what they said like oh actually that's a really good idea I will do that like you'd be like hey you're on a plane jump out of plane Oh wow, that's a really good idea. I'll do that. But that's only when it's only when it's at its worst. That's really when it's at its worst. So, so it's really bad. Um. There are points where it's just signs that they just I will sleep. I'll have a nap in the day because my medication makes me feel really sleepy and I will wake up and they'll just be laughing at me for no reason oh she's woken up great now we can torment her again um but they're all saying the same thing and they're all overlapping each other and it's all mm -hmm. oh, so I've got a bead found it um <laughs> um I can't think of anything else to say, but this video is a bit too short for me. I'd, I like one of these longer videos. Um, what else? What else? Um, I've had to get up early because my woman's coming today so she comes to me every week 
and we talk about what's gone wrong, what's gone good and what's gone bad this week and then she can see if she can help me out or not and then next week I've got an appointment with her and the big psychiatrist guy I guess I'm not really sure what he does but he diagnosed me and he's the one that ups my meds and downs my meds and is controlling all of that so yeah um um the real danger of these voices is that, is that I'm going to end up harming myself I don't do that because I know how much it affects my family and how almost selfish it is that I, that I do things like that to myself when I don't think about my family or what they'll think Yeah, I can't really think of anything else to talk about, so I'm going to end this video here, to be honest. Um, I'm going to make a video next time about my time at the ward. So that will be interesting because I, I was there for about four months altogether. Two months each time I went in. So that will be interesting because I'll have a lot to say about that. So I'll end this video here. Thanks for watching. Um, if you really liked it and you want to um, know more about me and talk to me, you can just talk to me in the comments. And subscribe if you want to. <laughs> okay, thank you. Bye.